Yuri, oh! So today we plan on hiking up to uh Mike and up. Yes. <laughs> Agnes Just let them know Tea House. My shirt is open. Oh. <laughs> Agnes uh, Tea House up on I don't know. I don't know where. Up I don't only Lake know Louise. at Lake Louise, that's right. Um and we had a mini drama of da 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 hiking boots. <sighs> this is not this is not a feature. They're supposed to, the sole is supposed to be firmly attached to the boot. And, well, it's not anymore, so we're gonna wear sandals. Okay, today is sandals day for the hiking. I'm glad we did O'Hara first, right? Oh, so, yeah. that's don't, a summer. Don't relief. need him today too badly, mm. I think. We're gonna be and good. things happen in a kind of a not too bad way because we're, when you would need to have some grocery shopping later today, which is in Bath Town that would make things much easier. So the brightness in the little, in the little trouble drama. Time. Yeah, we gotta. So it's not so out of our way to replace them. Yeah, but I'm sad. We are back on the shore of Lake Louise, uh, and as you can see, it's a little different than Lake O'Hara. <laughs> a few more folks. We're on the lake. And we are heading up those mountains. There's a tea house hidden somewhere there, but we've already made our first wrong turn. So we'll head back. This to... morning, the water is uh, not as dirty as yesterday. Wrong way. Huh? We made our first oh, wrong turn. Sorry. <laughs> it's very beautiful to see the snow in the back. That's a quite amount of snow. Oh yeah, that's uh, several glaciers up there apparently. Is that magpie? Sounds like it's like crying baby. <laughs> We're not yet halfway. We went up a little bit. Definitely less crowd. And uh, more of a hiking feeling. Uh, I think the climb is gentle but also Constant. Constant. So it's pretty nice for the heart rate and to stretch out the legs. At least yeah. it really helped my calves, which this morning my right calf wasn't really useful. <laughs> so Excuse big me. steps was definitely helpful. What do you think? What do you think of the trail? Yeah, it's steady. Um, I promised that we would share the path today. So when we get halfway, we're going to switch. A little bit, like you've heard me huffing and puffing. <sighs> A huge difference by, like I'm light pack, I don't have much on me. And with the weight, oh, yeah. there's a huge difference. And when we climbed that 900 meter monster, and yes, the number will go up every time I say it. <laughs> 850. And guess what? I bet camera gear and you guys are going to hear that in every video clip about that. Like, <laughs> in comparison, I think this is only a couple hundred meters tops. Mm. Maybe less. I think it's that kind of a very, uh, a very nice hike. Give you a little sense of hike. Yeah, more like but a not... walking path too, right? Yes. Really groomed. Yeah. Just arrived at the switchback where there's a pretty great view of the lake and uh, a bunch of people are stopping to take photos and we're gonna stop and have a little tea break here and switch up our packs. Just grabbing the tea while we're at the switchback, enjoying this gorgeous view of the lake what's this color and the mountain yeah leave us a comment below uh, what color you think the lake is We've what's been... the best word verdant is that verdant uh, i think no. verdant's more bright right like a leaf oh that's really jade i would say it's really jade somehow feel muddy jade yeah yeah it's really opaque yeah a lot of the lakes so far have been really crystal clear this one's not as clear not sure why maybe we'll if... find a sign that will explain that it really make me feel like you should have a bath in it. It's those kind of a prepared bath water look. Okay, no one's going to understand that. So let me explain. <laughs> so bath time at home, not for me. Let me do this. 
<laughs> is about a three hour process Yar. and about an hour and a half of it is boiling herbs to prepare the bath. So that's why she says that looks like a bath. She's a very clean person. Her bath is never so cloudy from her own natural dirt and <laughs> filth. I just felt like I should say that because that no. does not look like a bath to me. Leave me a Remember comment down below if you use herbs in your bath too. You know, and I have to say it works super uh, soft, but I won't talk more about that. <sighs> Let me scroll up a bit. Oh, I cannot. All right. Anyway, that's the view here. I'm going to go get some tea. I can see that it's out back there. So I got to, you know, bye. So we've just stopped for a quick tea break. Yeah. <sighs> we didn't make it to the switchback yet, but we're, uh, we're about more than a quarter, 30%, sign I think 40% of the way up. Just have well, a the little... yellow tea we didn't finish this morning. Now it's in the thermos. Looks really dark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? It was yeah. empty for sure too. I rinsed it and everything. And it all doesn't right. taste anything too strong at all. No, it was uh, like fourth and fifth infusions. I was stretching it. Hmm. Sorry. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but pretty good. Refreshing. That's what oh, we yeah. needed today. <sighs> A mini tea break is definitely very, very nice on the hike and everything. Even though it's warm, I, I don't know, I love it. It yeah. really helps that uh, relaxing. I have the same uh, sound effect I'm thinking of, the same as ice uh, Coca-Cola and that. Ah, ah. Yeah. Mini tea break on the way to yes. the uh, tea house. Okay, I'm taking this. Oh, oh, Maya. I'm still recovering, okay? I didn't use bug suit today because because I thought it's just mosquito and I put on deep wood, I should be fine. But first time ever in my life, I got a, a bite from... A black fly, I'm old. probably one of those. A big one just landed here. Oh, really big black deer fly, fly, deer fly? I don't deer know. Fly. Oh, it's a pinch, okay? It's a pinch, it actually hurts. I don't know how, will that be itchy like mosquito later? Yep. Oh, I feel hurt still and a little bit of itchiness there. And she forgot something. Oh, and I forgot. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm okay. You I'm okay. Do the other arm first. You're going to okay. scream at me. Oh. Oh. Okay. okay. Uh, I cannot say I like those uh, flies. Pinch. Good. Uh -huh. So, I'm okay for now. So, I put on more. A uh, thick layer of deep wood. Oh, it is a lot easier without the pot. <sighs> so... I don't know. At some point, if I see them land on me again, I have to box suit up. Oh, uh, it feels weird on my leg. Okay, we're just coming over the ridge here. We passed a sign that says Mirror Lake. So this is a cute little lake on the way up to Lake Agnes. There it is. And it sits right under the big beehive, which is that rock right That's there. Pretty. <sighs> I don't know if it's going to be good. Okay. You hear that? It's like a whistle. But I think it might be a bird. Mm. So, if you know what bird that is, let me know, cause. Uh, I cannot see anything, and that's such an interesting, interesting sound. If it's a bug, don't let me know. I do not want to know anything. This is the spot where we're going to have a little tea break again. Wow. We definitely have some altitude. This is quite pretty to see those snow mountains. And above us is the big beehive. Oh, must be right under it, huh? You're right under it. We're right under it. Whoa. No goats or sheep I checked. <sighs> With the binoculars. You never know. Omer, I wonder if we would ever see one in this trip. I really hope so. Hmm. I got my fingers crossed for Jasper. I feel like the population here is a bit too dense. Yeah. So hopefully Jasper. Yeah. Cool mountain breeze. I want a yodel. Yodel, yodel. Oh, nice. Look at this little guy running in towards us. He's totally domesticated. Where did he go? There he is. Yeah. Hard to keep him in the frame. He's fast. He coming right up to us. Oh, standing up. 
he reacts to that feeding sound even better than any dogs. I think I lead us to the wrong way. We're supposed to go here. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh. It's hard because we just got a glimpse of the tea house through the trees yes, I in got... that direction. So we just want to bolt towards <laughs> it. I got too excited and I run towards it. And I cleverly chose the... Uh, I cleverly chose the shortest way up. Here, this will be better. I cleverly chose the shortest way up, distance-wise, forgetting that that intuitively implies the steepest way up. <laughs> but it was true that it was the less busy way up. We're just approaching the steps. We're almost at the tea house, okay? I'm quite excited to have a have some tea. And I heard they have a quite nice uh, menu, like tea menu. Unlike yesterday at uh, Fairview afternoon tea, the tea were not even on the menu. So we had to call to say, hey, what kind of teas do you guys offer? Then they say, ah, oh, those basic ones. Oh yeah, we didn't find out till we got there. Kind of weird. Yes, even the, the concierge that we called, they didn't know anything about the tea menu. So I guess oh. afternoon tea is not about tea. And if you hear a waterfall in the distance, Whoa. Here it is. <sighs> Top of the steps. What? Tea house behind Jen. <laughs> Lake Agnes to the left. This is a really nice spot though. It's beautiful. Look at the view. Right. Out to the right here. I'm going to show you guys when we get to the bridge. Probably. Ooh. I oh, the views are everywhere. I'm going to have to do some swinging around. And the lineup is there. I'm going to line up first. Makes sense. Ooh. Now we're, oh cool, now we're at uh, Agnes Tea House, Lake yeah, Agnes Tea House. Right. There oh, we go, we got, dude. we scored a, a table seat, table seat, table at, seat at the corner, so you can see the view. Oh, nice view. You see, I see the lake and the mountains. <laughs> okay, this is a Phil's view. Wow. Wow. My back. A little bit chilly initially. Now I'm uh, totally comfortable. All right, so we uh, we finally got our food, our tea. We each got a. Tea. We each got a tea. I went out on a limb and I got. I'm not, I'm not a limb. I haven't had rooibos in a long time, and the mountain zen is one of their specialties here. So I'm trying that. And what did you this get? This is a special. Uh, the I think Lake it's a, Agnes. Lake Agnes uh, breakfast, breakfast blend. blend. Mm. Both are their kind of on the specialty chose those list. Those star ones. Those yeah. ones with star. And and the uh, server said it would have kind of a minty but not minty quality. And I have to say, she nailed it. Yeah. It has a bit of that cooling mint feel. We we'll also have a dessert. And we've got a little uh, blueberry. So the menu said this is the uh, what? Uh, this is the uh, staff uh, staff favorite. Oh. And it seems to be very popular. Yeah, very good. Oh, it's a blueberry apple crumble. Really good. Mm. I like it. It's you talk about that, I'll have a bite. It's fruity and not overly sweet. Okay, it's just still sweet. Okay, okay. It's a hidden. It's super sweet. <laughs> Sorry. First, first it was the tartness. I didn't feel it's very sweet. Now, yes. Yeah. But it's I have to say, I got to show you. Cutest spoon ever. A little <laughs> thin piece of wood. And we got to pack out all the garbage. So the cups the platter and the, all that stuff come out with us. Anyway, we're going to eat this and drink this later. And I really enjoyed this uh, Mountain Zen Rooibos tea. Uh, I realized a mini mistake I made is I was so thirsty when we got off here. I just dove right in and started sipping. 
should have let it infuse a bit longer, right? I have a feeling they dropped it in and brought it, so this was just great. It was really quick service here. I should have let it steep a bit longer. I was really anxious, but... Earlier, I didn't get the, the rooibos flavor is really coming through now. It does have that minty freshness, and it was just a really great tea. Tell us what you think of the tea. Oh, it's <laughs> so, <laughs> so official. I quite like this. Um, <laughs> it's a black tea. <laughs> uh, I, okay, I don't know what's super special about it. It's a very, just a pleasant, a very pleasant uh, black tea to drink. Doesn't sound very, very positive, but it is really good, especially in this location where they don't have to. They don't have to try, you know. This is the location. Right, that's whatever a good point. Whatever you put out there, whatever menu it is, people is gonna order it, and you're gonna make money on it. Simple as it is. But their tea menu is quite deep, and the quality of this is there. Like I'm very impressed. Good point. And with a little comparison to our yesterday's afternoon tea, um, I personally I much prefer the tea menu here, the tea quality here. It's maybe it's the Lake Agnes water. It could be the water. Uh, maybe we should grab some water. Mm. All right, so we had a great little break at the Lake Agnes Tea House. And now we're making our way up to the Beehive, which I'm looking across at and we could see from the uh, Tea House. So this will take us around the lake and up the back of the Beehive. We should have a pretty good view from there. Just over 2,000 meters. There's a little chipmunk again. Show you where we're headed. So we're gonna go around, around the lake here, sorry. <laughs> not as crowded as the way up for sure. And we're gonna go right along there up into that saddle and up the back of the beehive over here and we'll be somewhere up there in the end so so we're at the other end of lake agnes now and there's the feeder river stream brook whatever it is here so we're going to grab some lake agnes water to make some of our own tea with it i'm just looking for a nice spot where there's some good movement in the water and i'm going to scoop some up this looks like a nice, fast little spot here. I'm just gonna have a look upstream. Yeah, I think we might filter this. We're a little close, like low, so there could be lots of wildlife and we do have a filter. So, but anyway, we got some. We're on the other side of uh, Lake Agnes now. And as you can hear by my breath, we've started climbing. It's not aggressive yet. I can see uh, the trail ahead, but the view for, of the tea house here with that mountain range in the back is just stunning. So uh, I thought I'd stop to take a little break and to show you guys this gorgeous view. So up and behind, so up and behind from the tea house, you've got what they call the little beehive now. I think they call it the little beehive, but I saw an old map and it seemed to be called communication. So I don't know if there used to be a communication tower on that or what. Big beehive is in the right side of the frame. Uh, you can't quite see the top, but anyway, we'll show you what it looks like up there later. Time to breathe. So I promised Jen I would uh, share the backpack load, but you can see how steep the trail is and give us another wave. And now she's going to carry it the rest of the way up. So let's head up. Oh, I'm back to a turtle face. I got everything. Whoever carries the pack, the trail's too narrow to walk side by side. So what we do is whoever carries the pack goes out front and sets the pace for uh, kind of obvious reasons, right? Because the one without the pack can kind of skip up the mountain like a little mountain goat, which we haven't seen yet. All right. I have to say, every time when I'm hiking, Sometimes I really want to give up, especially when the trail is steep and um, 
you know, those those are the moments I was like, oh my god, let's just uh, go home. And this is this is the view. In the end, I'm so glad I didn't give up. And um, I guess I should remind myself that almost uh, at the end of every trail, I feel I'm so rewarded by this stunning view. And there's nothing on camera that I can fully capture this breathtaking view. Wow. I don't know, just to echo what Jen said, these are the moments that you're like, okay, that was a pretty hard, pretty difficult hike, but I sure am glad I did it. I'm just sipping on some Taeguanyin here, taking in the view, kind of leaning out over this cliff to look a bit to my right. Mountain glaciers. Just stunning. So here we are at the top of the, the beehive at Lake Louise. Gorgeous view across the valley of the mountains. We can see a lot of... I'm just going to walk mountains. over here. Okay, okay, I'm blocking the view. <laughs> no, just because the pillar... We're in a little shelter that's built up here. Uh, quite amazing. You can see all the way down the valley. Down below us is Lake Louise and through the... On the far side of those mountains that are close in the foreground, I don't know if you can see that little snowy tip poking up. That's Mount Temple, which is on the this side. I forget. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's on this side of Lake Moraine. But if you go over Mount Temple, you'll be at Moraine Lake. So, uh, and there's Lake Louise down there. And through the bushes, the chateau. I don't know if we can see it well from here. We can see it really well from our tea area a moment ago. Yeah, there it is. So we're, um, we're down from the Beehive Trail on the Lake Louise side. We've joined up with the Plains of Six Glaciers Trail. And we're just looking down at Lake Louise. I don't know if you can see it, but the lake is dotted with canoeists. There were some over here. Bear with me. Oh, look at the muddy end of the lake here. There's oh. some over here. We're literally looking That's down sand, like a beach. into their canoes. Uh, is that a beach? Look? No, I think it's silt runoff from the mountain. And that's oh. the reason the lake is so um, thick, I guess. I'm totally guessing here, so don't take my word for it. But that's such a pretty swirl. And the yeah, canoeists nice are pattern. also curious. They're going to paddle into it and see what the hay is going on. So uh, I'm glad we took this trail. We took it because it was we didn't want to do a straight out and back. And I'm really glad. Um, I don't know. I want to get that sharp one. I don't know if you guys can see that. Anyway, yeah, the canoeists are heading right through it. Ha <laughs> ha! We're back down at the uh, shorefront at the Chateau Lake Louise and we uh, we had a great day. We had some tea at the Lake Agnes Tea House. Yeah. We had some uh, autumn Taeguanyin on the way down. We took a little bit of a different route on the way down. We went up and over. We went out to the Beehive and then went over and came down the other side. You okay? Is there a bug? Yes. Oh, I'm back. We're back, but it's he's a big still one. there. Oh, a, he's huge. Those are those really bad bugs. I tried to stomp them, but I missed. Those are those uh, deer flies. They're nasty. Anyway, we just wanted to wrap up <laughs> and say uh, we had a great day, and we yes. hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please uh, give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and uh, hit that um, hit the notification bell. We've got tons of more content coming. Um, anyway, we just enjoy sharing these tea times with you in these special locations. We hope you guys like it too. All right, so until next time, keep steeping. Keep steeping.